Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Matrybred and these are 7 great tips to improve at Don't Starve. 1. Everyone knows you can make meatballs with 4 morsels, but did you know that you can make the same meatballs with 3 berries and a morsel? Or even 3 red caps and a monster meat? Or using 3 of those terrible durian fruits with a stick to make a fruit medley? You can make lots of great food in the crock pot with combinations that you'd never guess that are far more efficient than cooking the food on its own. I don't want to waste your time listing countless combos, but in the description you'll find links to the Don't Starve Wikia's Crock-Pot page, as well as some Steam guides where you can learn tons of great recipes. 2. As soon as you find a site for your base, keep an eye out for tracks to follow so you can spawn the Qualifant, then lead him back to your base. This gives you an incredibly reliable source of manure for farming and fuel, regardless of if you have beefalo or pigs nearby. Plus, if you're playing Don't Starve Together, you can make a fence with a gate as well. It'll save you time in the long run on both finding the manure and not having to chase him back to your base. 3. As lovable as pigmen are, you probably want pigmen skin to build pig skin helmets, as well as new pigman houses. The helmets not only protect you, but they also work like a straw hat that doesn't lose durability just for wearing it. And building pigman houses a short walk from your base will not only give you a good source of pig skin if you need more, but they can also be fed to help with manual labor, and can even defend you from attacks during the daytime. 4. Nothing is worse than realizing that you're not going to make it back to base before dark, and you don't have the supplies to make a campfire on you. Thankfully, campfires count as a building, and thus you can have it pre-made. By spending the resources for a campfire and just not placing it, you'll have a pre-made campfire that can be quickly placed at a moment's notice, that way you can set up a light source in an emergency without needing to carry the ingredients with you all the time. 5. The Deerclops is a terrifying monster that will try to destroy your base in the winter, and is probably the number one fear of new players once they have their food situation taken care of. Thankfully, it's actually not as bad of a fight as it looks like, as long as you've taken some time to prepare. If you time out his attacks well, you can dodge an attack, hit him twice, walk away from his next attack, move back in over and over until you kill him. His attack doesn't actually reach nearly as far as it looks like. Some decent armor and a helmet is definitely recommended just in case you get hit. I'd also recommend you have a lot of jerky on you to get health and especially sanity back, as simply fighting him will make you lose a lot of sanity. As you can see on screen though, it's not that bad. Just get in the rhythm and about 40 hits later he'll be dead. I'm using a tentacle spike in this footage, but you can use a spear just as easily. 6. Spiders drop many resources that are incredibly useful and easy to collect, but new players often don't end up getting enough due to being worried about having to fight. Thankfully, they're easier than you might think. If you step on a spider's web to bait them out and then back up just a little bit, you can lead them off their web. Then all you have to do is walk away a bit when they're about to attack, then hold F to get some swings in. In fact, if it's only one spider, you stun lock it just by holding F. By just walking in and walking away when they go to attack, they'll never actually hit you and you'll easily get their loot. Just make sure not to hit them while they're still on their web or they'll get more reinforcements. If you really want to get fancy, you can set up spiders near pigmen and they'll constantly fight each other and you can collect the loot. Although it can take a while to set up and the winner is likely to eat the meat of the loser. 7. Marshes are pretty daunting to new players due to the tentacles that attack you, but being near a marsh is actually very useful. Tentacles look scary, but they're shockingly easy to dodge if you just hit it once, walk back, hit it once, walk back. They don't really move. Plus, when they're killed, they often drop tentacle spikes, which is a really solid melee weapon, which is much better than the spear. Marshas also have merms, who often get into fights with the tentacles and lose, dropping fish and frog legs all over the place so you can just walk through, grab, and cook. Lastly, they're full of reeds that you can cut and combine with feathers and stingers, charcoal, or teeth to make different kinds of darts for combat. You can also fish at the ponds in the marsh, but I wouldn't recommend it. If you want to watch more of my tips videos, I'll have the playlist on screen as well as in the description, and I'll soon be working on tips videos for the Hamlet, Shipwrecked, and Together expansions. Let me know in the comments if you have any tips that you'd like to share, as I'd love to have more feedback. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, have a nice day.